Hi, I'm Shakira Lachey, Revenge to Fashion Magazine here in Southamptons for a midsummer celebration co-hosted by Active Ideas Productions and Peter Felfe. I'm sitting next to one of the featured artists for this evening, Miss Annika Connor. Connor, I'm sorry, how are you? I'm well, thank you. How are you? I'm great. You look gorgeous this evening. I'm cute. <laughs> thank you. We've got the music going and I'm looking at the flowers in your hair. Tell us about the theme for this evening. Okay, well, tonight's theme is a Swedish midsummer celebration. Um, the Swedish midsummer is a very, very important holiday in Sweden, and it uh, corresponds with the summer solstice. So it's always the Friday and the Saturday after you know the summer equinox. So um, here we have um, they moved it on. Um, to the Friday and the Saturday is starting in the 50s in Sweden because it's a big party and uh, the Swedes uh, we like to party <laughs> so um, so tonight we're having our party on Midsummer Day which okay. is the Saturday um, the big big celebration always happens on Midsummer Night okay. um, and Midsummer Night is considered the most magical night of the year for the Swedes. It's the night when um, the spirits are out and the uh, fairies are abounding um, and uh, magic is in the air and that magic always lingers to the next day. So tonight is a celebration of romance and friendship and um, we have art that's reflecting that and we have a party with quite a number of friends and um, some good-looking people like yourself uh, to spark the romance. <laughs> We've got the romance romance going. Um, I noticed some of your paintings are very, very romantic. Um, is that the, the Midsummer, is that the inspiration for your collection this evening? Or? Yes, well, um, I sort of consider myself a contemporary romantic painter. So romance is a theme that I often explore, um, and sometimes really directly, like uh, with kissing couples and almost um, sort of dancers embracing. But this year, I decided to go for a little bit more of an indirect, more romance in the poetic sense. So I have doves in flight, and you know, birds sort of staring off into an afternoon sunshine. I have a gorgeous lagoon painting um, of a beautiful beach and mystique, sort of hinting at the romance that might be awaiting when you're on that island. I understand you have a show coming up. Is that some of the uh, the art that will be seen there, or is it a totally different collection? Um, yes, well my show that's coming up is right after this, and it's called Town and Country. So um, it's exploring art that explores those different themes. and since. Tonight or in the country, if you can consider the Hamptons the country. We do have bugs, so a little bit of a countryside. Um, uh, I, so I decided landscapes here. And in the town and country show, I'm going to be showing um, a painting of a, the entrance to the plaza, um, a really decadent palace, some chandeliers, sort of celebrating all that is the ornate abundance of Manhattan. So besides besides romance and, and nature, what are some other things that you, you kind of gravitate towards to inspire you? Um, you know, when you're, you're starting a new collection or, I don't know, when you sit down, you have your, your colors and your, and your brushes, what are some of the things that come to you? Um, well, it's a little bit of um, things that you naturally find with romance and nature. So beauty is a huge inspiration for me, um, and the beauty that I see in everyday life. So I, I you know, I, I see beautiful people. I see beautiful moments. I see beauty in dance and in um, an interior, in a sunset. So a lot of that beauty. Um, but then also with your question, you asked about like what colors. And you can see that color is quite important to me. Um, so, your mood? Yeah. yeah your mood it can be yeah. so expressive. You know, you, I mean, you look at you and me just as we're Green's dressed right now. The, yeah, the greens <laughs> of summer, you feel, you know, quite vivacious with it. So, quite like that. 
So, Annika, um, we're you know we're talking about beauty and nature and romance, and um, you're, you're definitely you you've blossomed. Um, we met last year, and I had an awesome time. Um, into other a few other events that you've had, and you're doing really well, Thank extremely you. well. So, <laughs> congratulations. Thank so you. now I want to go into um, what you, some advice you might give um, for an aspiring artist. Or for someone you know that's maybe doing something else, and this is what they really want to do. What um, what encouraging words do you have for that person that just doesn't know where to go, or you know how to survive? You know what I mean, as far as like pursuing your hobby, um, yeah. really go and really going for it. Um, well, I feel like uh, the advice that I have to give is more the advice that I've heard and that I've taken to heart uh, that's helped me. Um, Lately, I've been really irritated um, by Thomas Jefferson uh, because he, he has this quote uh, that um, I feel like is haunting me. And he said that um, he said that he had more respect for the man with one idea who gets it done than the man with a thousand ideas who does nothing. And I got you know so frustrated because I felt like. Oh, Thomas Jefferson, I'm not that man with a thousand ideas, but I do have a lot of ideas and sometimes it is really important to remember that you have to get them done, you know, and you can't work on so many ideas that you don't complete the next one. So it's great to have a lot of paintings that you want to paint, but you need to finish some of those paintings. Um, so I think that, that was one that really helped me out. Um, Another one that uh, really helped, which I think is really good, is, I don't remember who said it, but I said, a lot of people don't recognize opportunity when it knocks because it's dressed in overalls and it looks like work. Uh, <laughs> so I, I, I thought that was a good point too uh, because you know, luck is what you make of the opportunities um, that are given to you, but also you know, the work um, is what makes those opportunities come. So, so go out and get it. Yeah, and work <laughs> hard and do it. <laughs> Got it. Well, that's great advice. Only because you're you're sitting here glowing uh, and you're doing really well. So thank you so much. I know you. there are so many people that are definitely grateful for sharing. Um, I know you have to run to your guests. So thanks for having us. We're, we're so glad to be here. Um, we want to stay in contact, you know, with you and what you have coming up. So if you could give us your web, your website and how we can keep track, that'd be great. Certainly. Um, well, my website is just um, www.annikaconnor.com, which is spelled A-N-N-I-K-A. Connor is C-O-N-N-O-R. Um, and um, I just want to say that thank you so much for having an interest. Um, I, I mean, so many times as an artist, you feel that like um, nobody's inspired by what you're doing. It's hard to see good from bad and up from down, and it's easy to get a little too self-critical. So it's it's really nice to see that you're here and other people are here, and they you know are happy to look. <laughs> so thank you, really appreciate it. <laughs> well, thank you so very much, Annika. We're gonna go and and enjoy some of the artwork that you that you have inside. Um, we saw some of the some of the work as we were coming in. I understand there's another artist um, this evening um, exactly. that we're gonna have to chat with her name. Um, Martina Molin um, and she is actually a very, very good friend of mine, a wonderful, wonderful painter. She's from Sweden okay. but lives in London and um, her work is very um, much an exploration of sort of feminine aesthetic and the fragility of feminine beauty and it, it connects a little bit to mine um, because we both are very girly girls and that kind of comes through in the paintings and we don't try and hide that and so that's why we decided to exhibit together and to have two Swedes for a Swedish party it was uh, quite fun we thought. It's interesting. Um, it's interesting that you say that because they definitely work together but we know your work and we, you know, and I'm not familiar with her work, but I'm like, okay, that doesn't quite look like Anna because it's okay. So it's like it's great that you guys have been able to collaborate, and yeah. your work still, you know, it still says you. Mm -hmm. 
Um, we're gonna get to know her and get to know, you know, the feel of the feel of her yeah. work and where, what her point of view is. So um, it's a I great decision. Thank you. Well, I think like what's so nice about um, showing a two-person show is, um, you know, Martina is a friend of mine and she's a painter, and so we've been in conversation for years, you know, um, together talking about art and ideas and life, and so it's really nice for the paintings then to be seen together in conversation. So if um, if anybody is watching this and they want to see more of Martina's work, um, her name is Martina Molin, and her website is also her name. So it's M-A-R-T-I-N-M-O-L-I-N dot com, I believe. Uh, I think it's dot com. But um, she is. Uh, she's wearing a white dress, and she has flowers in her hair too. So um, yeah. Well, thank you so much. Take thank care. You. And I have to, to run off, but thanks for having us again. We're the second year around. Oh, you're welcome. You're welcome anytime here. Thank you. Thank you. Once again, I'm Shakira Lachey, Revenge, the fashion magazine.